Here are five things you need to know before traveling to the Philippines. So I've been living here in the US for like seven years now and there are a lot of things that I realized that are very different than from the Philippines where I was from. The first is the shopping centers. So in the Philippines, there's this one building and everything that you need is in that building from food, clothing, if you wanna shop for clothes, arcades, and then there's cinema too movie theater all in one place so if you decided to take your girlfriend on a date you want to take her shopping for clothes you go to that building we call it sometimes it's sm mall ayala mall savers mall where i'm from sm is like the main mall in the philippines in ayala in um, ayala in manila yeah you just go to one place you can go shopping for food you can go shopping for clothes you can shop for jewelry and then right after that if you're hungry Inside that building, there's this restaurant too. And then if you wanna take her out or your girlfriend, boyfriend out on a date, there's movie theaters all in one spot, all in one building. Here in the US, it's more of like spread apart. It's like parang nasa isang, isang lote sila, tapos iba ibang building spread apart sila. This one thing that I did not understand when I moved here, and me and my, and my husband kept trying to explain it to me patiently. I was like, uh, how there is no like you know there's mall here but it's not complete like in the philippines it's all in one building here in the u.s it's it's spread apart there's probably some part in the u.s where they also have the same setup where in one building everything is there here where i'm from it's more like spread apart there are different stores they're in one location but you uh, you need to like get out of the store go back into a different store while in the philippines you just enter one building you'll find everything that you need in that building second if this is going to be your first time traveling to the philippines you're probably going to get culture shocked with a lot of when you see that there's a lot of bugs and insect i feel like it's very common if you are traveling to a humid country in a tropical country bugs and insect are everywhere i remember me and my husband when we were still like getting to know each other and dating <laughs> he came and visit my my grandma where i lived i was there and in our table, there's like ants. Like we cannot get rid of rid, get rid of ants. They're just everywhere. And then my husband was like, so you're just gonna eat? Like with the ants on crawling on a table? I was like, yeah, for me it's normal, but for him it's not. And I was like, <laughs> I don't know if he, if he got turned off or anything, but we cannot get rid of ants. They're just everywhere. They're the black ants. And in the Philippines, black ants are nicer than the red fire ants. Um, they're black ants, so they're nice, but they're just everywhere. We cannot get rid of them. I don't know, like, I don't even know how to get rid of ants. Yeah, it was like, we were still trying to get to know each other, and we ate lunch in my grandma's <laughs> table, and there's ants. There's not a lot. There's just, like, two or three crawling, crawling around, and I guess it caught his attention. I was like, he's like, hey, there's ants there. I was like, yeah, there's ants. <laughs> And it's like a normal thing for me. For him, it's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, but yeah, there's ants and bugs. So you should probably prepare yourself too for mosquitoes. Because a lot of, especially if you're white. If you're white, you're a white dude. I've seen a lot of white dude getting bit by mosquitoes. And they have like these red patches in their skin. Don't do that. Go get you a skin, um, not a skin. Go get you a um, insect bite repellent or insect spray. I mean, you can buy it here in the US, but I don't think you can carry it, especially if it's a spray. I don't think you can carry that in a plane. So just get one in the Philippines. But yeah, make sure you like get bring, or not bring, make sure you get like a bug lotion, anti-bug spray or whatever. Bugs and insects are everywhere. Um, especially in the summer season, there's gonna be like, bugs are coming out, cause it's summer season. It's hot out, they wanna go out and cool, cool down, you know? You know, dengue, Deng dengue is still a thing in the Philippines. Dengue is still a thing in the Philippines. I know here we have vaccine. In the Philippines, we do have vaccine too. It's just that it's still happening and it's making kids sick. It's dengue and it's being carried by a female mosquito. And they say that she only bite in the morning time. You will get high fever and like, it's almost like a flu, like a flu-like symptom. High fever, muscle ache and stuff like that. You don't want that. So bring or buy some insect repellent. They're everywhere. They, they are everywhere. Third is wet market. I brought my husband to a wet market and he's fine with it because he's, his stomach is not that weak. He don't have a weak stomach. But you're going to realize in the wet market that most people, they don't wear gloves. It's just it's just hands with raw meat. So I don't want you to get culture shock if your, your friend, family, girlfriend will bring you to the wet market and you see people touching raw meat with 
bare hands. It's just the common thing in the Philippines. Um, that's why I included it in my list. In the Philippines, you will rarely see that. So yeah, just don't freak out or like don't get culture shock or whatever if you go to the wet market or if you see someone touching raw meat. Fourth is personal space. This is funny for me because I've been on both ends. Like now here I'm in America. Okay, the personal space kind of makes sense. But when I was living in the Philippines, I've never really like thought about personal space. But here in America, I was like, that kind of makes sense. If you're in the Philippines, the concept of personal space is really is not a thing though. Like if they come to your personal space, it's, they don't mean to like disrespect you or anything. It's just what it is in the Philippines. And I noticed that here too, when I was working at retail and it's back to college, there's like, we're near the universities and I would see um, exchange student from like Asia and some would ask me question and they would come really close to me, <laughs> really close. And this is when I know I was like, oh wow. So this is what we do back in the Philippines. They would come and they'd be this close, this close to my face. And they're just trying to ask question. For them, it seems like it's normal, but I guess for people here, it's like, yo, back up, bro. <laughs> Especially with the pandemic. But even before the pandemic, we do not do personal space. And it's not something to like, you know, make, piss people off. It's just something that we were not inclined to do, if that makes sense. Last but not the least is stairs. Not like the stair stairs, but like the stair stair. <laughs> So people like to stare in the Philippines. I know I realized that when I moved here. Because here in America, you cannot look. Hindi mo pwedeng titigan yung mga tao dito kasi mapapaaway ka. I noticed here in the U.S. you cannot like stare at someone because they're gonna come at you like, what you looking at? <laughs> in the Philippines, we just stare. I mean, depending if you're an um, if you're a tourist and I guess and and you're going to a province that do not get a lot of tourists, you will get stairs. But if you're you're going to like, I don't know, Cebu, Boracay, any tourist spot, people there are used to seeing people like you. But it's not like a one look and then look away and you know, it's like a stare, they like stare at you. <laughs> you can't do that here in America, I realize. Sometimes I do it and I was like, oh crap, just like, I don't wanna <laughs> get in the fight, but like, yeah, it's, it's just out of curiosity, too. It's not something that, like, you, you want to fight? No, it's just out of curiosity. I guess depending on how white you are, how Caucasian you look, or depending on how um, dark your skin is, you're going to get stares. With me, I feel, with me and my husband, we kind of blend it in because we're, like, um, light skin and we're, like, moreno, morena, my husband. My husband moreno and I'm morena. So we kind of blend in a little bit. Not unless, of course, if I wear my hair out and that'll give it, give it away. But like if I put my hair in a bun, walk around with other Filipinos, they won't even notice. But if you're like very dark, your skin is rich in melanin, you're going to stand out. You're going to get stares. If you're like the whitest person ever with like ginger hair, you're going to get stares. So, and it's not something to be like, oh, that is so rude. It's just that we're just not used to seeing people like you. Yeah, so that is all for this video. If you want to add more, kung taga Pilipinas ka, tapos gusto mo mag-add more sa list ko, you can leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!